Can you explain the scale of the universe? No. So you can give the numbers. So the nearest large galaxy, Andromeda, is about 2 million light years away, which means light traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second, from our point of view, takes 2 million years to travel from the and Andromeda galaxy to us. So if you go away from the city lights and out into on, on a clear sky, and when there's no moon particularly, then you'll be able to see Andromeda if you've got some binoculars. And it's worth looking at because the light entering your eye began its journey 2 million years ago, which is before we'd evolved on Earth. So that gives you a sense and you can see that. You can just about see it with the naked eye because it's big. It's a big galaxy, about a trillion stars. And it's actually, although it's very faint, it's bigger than a full moon on the sky. So it's a big thing. I think that's the best explanation of the scale because you can just about, I think, get your head around that. But that's the nearest galaxy. So when you start talking about galaxies that we see beautiful images with the Hubble Space Telescope or the JWST, for example, you're looking at things that are, you know, 50 million light years away, 300 million light years away for a thing called Stefan's Quintet and onwards. And th those, you know, 300 million light years. And many of the galaxies we can see in photographs from with the James Webb, for example, that those things are so far away that the light it began its journey before the Earth had formed. And I, that's incomprehensible, I think. So the answer is I can't explain the true scale of the universe or picture it.